How's it going, everybody? Moose here. It is Saturday, August 29th. I am on my way out of work. Out early. It's about 1.45. Parked next to a Harley Ultra, which brings up an interesting conversational piece, which seems to be going around a lot lately on the internet, on the YouTubes. My Kaylee 7 has been speaking to this, and I thought I'd give my two cents. That's a 2017 Ultra Limited Harley Davidson, 107 Milwaukee 8. It's a nice bike. It's identical to basically what I had, which was a 2018. And it's also about the exact same thing Mike had before he did all the stage four work kit to it. Other than the color, I know. Awesome bikes. There's nothing wrong with those bikes. They're great looking. They're iconic looking. They're a sexy bike. Then we had the 2019 Goldwing, which is what I traded up from from that to this. What are the differences? Well, there's a lot of differences between the Ultra and the Goldwing. Let's talk about them. One, as you might see, I have no clutch on this bike. It's a DCT, as Mike Kaylee 7 has mentioned. Therefore, I have no reason to shift. That's one main difference. But the bikes, trying to compare them is like trying to compare a cat to a dog. <laughs> um... Well, maybe not a cat to a dog, because people hate cats. Of course, some people hate Harleys, and some people hate Hondas, and some people hate other things just because someone else has it, and because it's bigger than theirs, and different than theirs. But uh, for me, I love the Ultra. I had one. I really enjoyed riding it. It was a fun bike, comfortable bike, uh, especially after I put that Air Zeppelin seat on it. That made all the difference in the world. And I've never owned a bike yet that I haven't done some kind of work or had a seat replaced or something to that effect. So it's not uh, that Harley Davidson seats suck compared to everybody else's. In my opinion, seat being stock is never perfect. You can learn to love it, and learn to enjoy it. Uh, although for some people, the stock seat does just fine. For me, it never did. Uh, same with the gold wing here. I went ahead and looks like the dogs are taking the guy for a walk. Wow. Anyways, <laughs> I did a lot of trips on the Ultra. Uh, a lot of miles. I think when I got rid of it, it had roughly 35,000 on it almost. You could always go back to the video where I bought the gold wing. I'll link that above if I think about it told the mileage out when I got rid of it. I think it was 34,000 something. So yeah, I had a lot of miles on that bike when I got her, when I got rid of it. Uh, for Especially for having it just for two years and uh, the amount of work I was doing at that time. I mean, I worked a lot of hours during those days. Is the Harley worse than the Goldwing? Is the Goldwing better than the Harley? Is the Harley better than the Goldwing? That's a personal, personal preference. It all depends on what your riding style is. And how you wish to ride the motorcycle you have. For instance, um, the Ultra, the Ultra Harley Davidson Limited, the Ultra Limited Harley Davidson. Very comfortable bike, uh, ample storage, very iconic look, in my opinion. I think it's the essential look of a motorcycle, personally. But it's also not the all end all of bikes. Uh, no, there's the gold wing. No bike is, in my opinion. I think everybody has their personal preference. Um, my personal preferences have changed and adjusted over the years. I had the Triumph Trophy for a while after I'd owned the Road King, which I still presently own in my garage. And I bought the Trophy and rode that for a year or two. And uh, then I decided to go back to a Harley Davidson which was the Ultra Limited, and oddly enough, I had looked at the Goldwing originally, uh, this bike, actually, 2018 though, prior to buying the Ultra, and I went with the Ultra. I think some of the reason I went with the Ultra, one, all my friends rode Harley-Davidson's um, for the most part, so maybe it was more of a kind of a way to better fit in because the trophy was a totally different setup. 
but oddly enough, I just wanted to see about owning the Ultra. I never owned one. I wanted to see what it was like to have one, so I bought one and traded a trophy in on it. And I did a lot of things on that bike. It was an excellent motorcycle. But um, uh, my Kaylee 7 got the Goldwing, which is the identical bike to what I own here uh, in stock setup. And um, talked about on his videos how great it was and how great it was not having a clutch. And I, for the most part, didn't really pay attention to that all the way around. Made fun of it, actually, in a way. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, I was thinking about the fact that it would be nice not to have to clutch. And then we went on our trip to uh, the Tetons, the Grand Tetons in Wyoming. And through the trip, I found many times where his bike well outperformed my bike in the way that it handled and the way I wish my bike to handle. Now, I knew when I bought the Harley, it was not going to handle like the Trophy. I knew it wasn't going to handle like the Goldwing. The lean, the lean angle is not the same. The lean limit, you know, the limit's a lot different. I think this bike's probably around 40-some degrees. I can't find any specs on that. Whereas the Harley is, uh, you know, 30-31. So there's a big difference there. But uh, power was the main problem for me. I tried to keep up with my Kaylee 7 in the Badlands of South Dakota going up the mountains, uh, the hills, on the uh, highway. I can't talk today. And I had a fairly heavy load on the bike, so I'm not stating that the bike in uh, regular setup, like you no know, extra weight besides the rider on it, would... Uh, perform the way mine did because I had the bag on the back I had a bag on the inside I'm guaranteeing I was carrying a good amount of weight on there and I'm not a small guy so my guess is that uh, total poundage I was easily carrying uh, 300 400 pounds probably probably 300 and some pounds probably about 70 pounds worth of luggage 80 pounds now, that would be a passenger, needless to say, but the passenger would be on the pillion, and the luggage was in the back trunk, so, you know, forcing the bike down maybe. But I could not keep that thing at 80 going up the mountains on those hills on the highway. Uh, 75, the engine was screaming, and we're talking about a bone stock Harley Davidson 107 Milwaukee 8. Most people don't have a bone stock 108, a 107. They at least have the stage one done to it, the kit, something, you know. So the breathers opened up different exhausts. I was stock, so I had the stock breather, stop exhaust, which on those bikes does make it harder for it to breathe, in my opinion. I'd look beside me, or actually usually very far ahead of me, and there's my Kaylee 7 just a cruising it up the high damn highway. Not even a thought in the world of the fact that he's going up a hill. That six cylinder in these bikes is just magnificent. Torquey gets up and goes. This thing has got power like you would not believe. Now, compared to my Triumph Trophy, really close on the power band. Uh, this is still more because I feel the automatic shifts far more superior to the way I would shift the bike. I mean, every time, anytime. It's just bam, 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 all the way up through the gears. And you go back to an Ultra, you're shifting like on most bikes besides the Honda. I don't know if any other bikes besides the Honda, as far as an actual motorcycle setup, I'm not talking about a um, uh, scooter-style motorcycle. I don't know if any other ones come with automatics. So, um, the automatic for me is where it's at at this point. Make fun of me if you will, but this thing shifts better than I think most people out there could shift a manual bike. So as far as comfort goes, like I said, the Harley, different setup. I mean, you're leaning back, you're kind of like in a chair position, where on this I'm sitting more upright, my knees are bent, my foot's just slightly underneath, the, underneath my leg right here, the upper part of the leg, so it's not like I'm sitting like I would on a Harley Davidson which would be more like this, with the legs straight out like that, you know, perfectly 
90 degree bend basically. But right now I'm probably at a 100 degree bend on a leg. Past 90. So the seating position is really different. So your weight on this bike is kind of on your thighs and on your buttocks. Where, in my opinion, the Ultra, or most Harleys for that matter, kind of force you back on your tailbone. So to compare the comfort levels of both, both <laughs> to compare the comfort levels of both bikes would be unfair in my opinion. I think comparing the two bikes together is probably unfair. I mean, you're either looking at a cruiser style motorcycle or you're looking at a sport touring motorcycle. More of a sport tour, kind of in lines with the BMW K1600 bagger. And uh, and the Ultra, which is a uh, cruising, touring, motorcycle, bagging motorcycle. I mean, they're both baggers, don't get me wrong, but they're just totally different beasts. That's basically where I'm coming from. I mean, my assumption would be if you're looking at a Harley Davidson Ultra Limited style motorcycle, you'll be looking at the Indian Chieftain um, and other Indians of that nature. Like that Indian just went by. Roadmaster, I think it is. Uh, then you also have maybe the Yamaha Venture. This is really similar to that kind of bike uh, in the layout. So if you're looking for that style of bike, you wouldn't buy this style bike. This is different. It's not that niche. It's not that type of bike. This is more uh, toward the sport touring market. Uh, a little different platform because most sport tours are a little higher off the ground than this. Kind of like my Triumph Trophy was. It was quite a ways off the ground. And the bags are kind of set at an angle up like word, you know, so they're not they're not uh, parallel to the or perpendicular to the ground. They got more of an angle to them. Whereas this is kind of, as I mentioned earlier, more or less like the K1600B bagger. Got, got kind of look, which is what I test rode last year. And really, uh, number one reason I didn't buy that was reliability. But there's uh, just a lot of things about this bike I really like. Um, do I miss the Harley Davidson? No, not really. I understand, yes, you're part of that group, per se, if you own the Harley Davidson. And I really don't care if I'm part of that group. I don't fault anybody for what they ride or wish to ride. I mean, for instance, you wouldn't buy this if you were looking to do a sport bike for going around the track. I mean, you wouldn't buy a gold wing. You'd buy a sport bike. So, you know, if you're looking for a gold wing, you'd probably buy a gold wing or a BMW for that style bike. Looking for an Ultra style bike, you know, Indian, Ultra, uh, Harley Davidson, Yamaha, uh, Maybe a Triumph Rocket, although they're not really a touring motorcycle. But, you know, they're they're different. And that's what the whole point of the thing is. I don't know. <laughs> that brings me back to, uh, what movie was that? Uh, Mel Gibson, uh, Lethal Weapon 3, no, Lethal Weapon 4. When Joe Pesci at the end is at the uh, cemetery with uh, Mel Gibson, uh, Riggs, I think his name was, and I think Pesci was Leo, Leo Gets. Anything you need, Leo Gets. Get it? But he was talking about how when he was little, he had a pet frog. He didn't have many friends, so he had a pet frog and named him Froggy. And he took Froggy everywhere with him, right? And uh, one day, Froggy jumped out of the bike basket and 
he ran him over with his bicycle. And he killed his best friend. He killed Froggy. And then he found, you know, he didn't have any friends for a long time until he found uh, Riggs and Murtaugh, which were his uh, new friends, new best friends. And then, no, I think Martin Riggs, it's been a long time since I've seen the movie, but he says, uh, we're terrible to you. No, no, let me finish, right? Basically stating that they weren't better friends than Froggy. They're just different friends. They're different. They're not better. They're different. And that's kind of the way I feel about the Goldwing and the Harley Davidson. The Goldwing isn't better than the Ultra Limited. The Goldwing's just different. It's all about what you want to ride, folks. Ride what you want. Just enjoy the wind if you can. If it's three wheels, two wheels, doesn't matter. Like the curves, like the straightaways, either way is fine. People always say, ride your ride. I can agree with that. But, you know, all in the end, it's not better. It's just different. Maybe better for you, but, you know, take what you will from the conversation. All right. This is Moose saying keep it safe out there. Until next time, I'll be talking at you. See ya. Bye.